valve because you've got this ridge on the top here that uh, sticks out and then you've got these long strong legs here and then you've got the pigmentation on the skin here, almost like reptile skin I would say. And then we have the, uh, the pheasant here and you can see signs of blunt force trauma <laughs> from, uh, from uh, whatever gun was used. Yeah, it's pellets really, isn't it? And then you have the mallard here the duck family, because you can see by the <coughs> you can see by the uh, diamond-shaped skin in relation to this duck here. And if you go over to here, oh, before I move on to that, you can also see this is uh, is that evidence of being shot there? Is it? Both of these are um, showing evidence of being shot, which means um, that is seen as part of the product when in, when on sale in shops. These are two partridges. And, and usually they are on a very uh, small diet, but not very much meat on them, hence why they have this bacon put on top of them. <laughs> <laughs> All three are fit for human consumption. Good. You mentioned there's sort of trauma involved of how game is actually caught and processed. So would you use um, the same assessment criteria to make an assessment of fitness for food with game as you would do for normal poultry, or would you have to no, compare the No, it's completely like different for this. So what kind of things are you thinking? Well, again, because it has been shot, that is seen as part of the product. No problem with that. This was applied to here, then no, you don't. Mm -hmm. the what are, is there an extra process with game? Um, I'm sure there is, but I can't remember right this minute. Yeah, yeah. Hang, hang, yeah you just hang, 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 oh, hang for days on end, yeah. 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 So actually, where this would be consumed within two or three days, probably, this you actually hang to mature the taste and tenderness. Well, these guinea fowl are generally more domesticated nowadays. They process very much like these, more so like these than these. Game would be slightly different. So it would be those together, and then this slightly to, to the side like that. Good stuff. Good stuff. What about this one? Yeah, go on. What about labelling here, aren't we? Well, okay. What have you got here? Lean steak meats. So Bovine. if this came to your local authority as a food complaint yes. and you needed to trace this product back to a process of origin, well, what kind of information would you well, use? Well, you've got this, this health mark here and the identifier, sorry there. Uh, it's from the UK, it's from 5416 Abattoir. It can be traded within the European community. Uh, what else have we got here? Where's before? I can't see any more details. Anymore. Well, that's the problem. There's some labelling issues missing from there. As far as information, we've got a point of sale, Tesco, Tesco. place of manufacture, yeah. a product date, and a line number and date there as well. Yeah. So that'll so give you traceability. Like batch. Yeah, that'll be batch identification, of course, it's day 22 on the 8th of February 13th, this one. Temperature control mints? Four degrees. Um, is that two? Oh, two, two degrees. Two degrees. Two degrees. What about this? Poultry? No, these are game. What about this with poultry? This would that, that we classify as poultry. That would be. Yeah. Oh, sorry, we're asking the term. Yeah. Well, temperature control for that. Four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this was two. That was four. What's um, the pheasant style? Yeah, the poultry. Oh. The poultry. So that'd be the same. It's the same, is it? Right. Yeah. So, so it's what all four. What you might see is, at points of sale, those regulations wouldn't apply. So actually, you'd see game having that far away from the end. Right. But we're using different regulations there. We're using regulations at point of sale yeah. rather than regulations at, at uh, points of manufacture. Okay. Who's going to give these a bash then? Go on, Gail. Uh, go on, I will then. Right. You mean <laughs> quiet today? I am very quiet today. Like, we have a tray of poultry. We have this one is your corn fed chicken, either organic or free range. You can tell by the colour of it. Looks fit for human consumption. We've got here, we've got duck. You can tell by the diamond uh, pattern on the skin. Duck is quite flat as well, and he's got little legs, and he's fit for human consumption. We have a normal chicken there, just your normal Tesco standard chicken. What more can I say? Fit for human consumption. This little fellow's a possum. Poss one. Possum. Possum. Basically a baby, little baby chicken, they're not given long 
to develop before they're killed. We have giblets, giblets there. So you've got the neck, the liver. Is that right? Liver, neck, liver. Would it, would it be? That was the last week. Would it be? Um, that's your neck, isn't it? Neck. Yeah. That'd be your liver. No okay. kidney. Kidney, liver, liver. We've got another little bit here. Heart. Somewhere. Is it heart? Oh, I got. Sorry. Yeah, heart. Which was the heart? By you. By you. Somewhere. Is he under? Is he? What's up there? That's it. Is that? Right. Okay. Yeah. Are we going to have to define what each right. one of those bits are? We have a chicken, uh, sorry, a duck Dead breast breasts. here. You can tell by the diamond shapes and if you look at the colour there, visual inspection tells me that that is fit for human consumption. We have a chicken drumstick. There look. That's fit for human consumption. Now, I think that might be a thigh. Yeah, yeah chicken thigh. As you can tell by the colour, the bone, and that is fit for human consumption. And we have here a breast of chicken, or chicken quarter, whatever you want to call it. If you look there, yeah, that's fit for human consumption. Good, well done. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You skated over the stuff that you didn't want to talk about. I know, <laughs> it's the giblet. I know there's some part that sticks to the chicken, isn't there, that you yeah. can't take Yeah, giblets are usually four pieces. That's it, isn't it? And the giblets that we pulled out of this duck last week, only had three, so I promised to bring you in the fourth bit, didn't I? And what is it again? Neck? Neck, liver, liver heart, heart, and kidney. No, it's not the same. Gizzard. What is it? Gizzard. 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 That's Gizzard. It's the kidneys that stick, isn't the it? The kidneys are stuck in there. Yeah, yeah. I know. Right. So I knew there's... the other one. I couldn't think of it. So there's the gizzard. You haven't seen the gizzard before. No. So the gizzard is the third it's stomach of the chicken. So it's got the crop where it stores food, basically, at the front of its head, like that. Then it goes through the gastric stomach called the polyventricular. But then this muscular stomach is called the gizzard, and that's why it's fully muscular. There's a bit of flesh material to it, so it's harvested as part of the gym that's back. Um, what of advice on that one is it's difficult, it's terribly, terribly difficult because it's the same thing with interviews and stuff. You know, is try and think through to the end of the answer before you start digging yourself into issues because it's also easy to start down a path feeling confident, not having thought it through. Then you get somewhere, and then you lose your pattern and then you lose your direction a little bit. So, if you want to talk about giblets, let's talk about giblets, but let's get the facts right. Uh, yeah. If you don't want to talk about giblets, yeah. do, your, do what, yeah. your utmost to avoid it. If I want to talk to them, I'll have to ask you the question, but you might get lucky and you get away with it. Temperature control, Poetry? Four. Good. Everybody remember this official that we have as well in EC852 that says small local producers can produce at farm slaughter poultry. Everybody okay with that? In that cases. So they can kill their own chicken? Yeah, well this is EC853 2004. Okay, H2 for short term. I'm sure you spend a lot of time on it. And what H2 says, these regulations shall not apply in relation to direct supply by the producer of small quantities of meat from poultry and lager hops slaughtered on the farm to the final consumer or to local retail establishments. So there's a couple of ambiguous words there, which is small quantities and local. So that's being interpreted and um, the threshold set is 10,000 birds per annum and then local is the authority and the elected authorities. But that's going to be So most of these poultry, those there, they produce the massive factories, so they come under the auspices of the Food Standards Agency and they'd have an official veterinarian and meat inspectors there generally. Um, but don't be surprised if you've got within your authorities small premises, you might get involved in that one. They're usually some seasonal things, so a couple of hundred turkeys at Christmas, or whatever, then for all of Good.